we're at the new track already well it's a new old track we're on cleanup duty right now is what we're on uh this is a track we started let's see february february march somewhere in there it just got a little bit wet there's about 20 acres i've got left here to get but the only thing that's going to suck about it is it's going to be scattered over like four sets. So the job is fixing to be like scattered and split up all over the place. So we're taking Brady over here and he's going to start cutting. There's some second thinning out here. It's got to be done. He's going to do, start doing that second thinning. And then I have mickey over there with we're gonna leave michael i cut it out yesterday with the rubber tire there is a 12 acre piece that we had to pick up over where uh where we were doing that little 26 acre piece the bunting road track but mickey and michael's gonna be over there probably all day today picking that up putting it in a pile we have one more load to get on our quota and then we have uh, we're gonna move the other loader over here and Matt and me Matt and Brady is gonna stay over here and deal him some stuff over here I'm looking at this it's starting to separate it's starting to pack trash in there that's not good I hadn't noticed that before they need another bolt right here and another bolt right here. That way it keeps it all pulled tight like this. Because all your skids on this thing is, is made all to this. So. We'll be back in a minute. We got a lot of stuff going on today. We're moving. Uh, lots and lots of stuff going on today moving starting new tracks piling up tracks in one place busy 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 we'll watch matt unload the skitter Just like that, there she's done. She's gone, she's off. Just cut the day than what it was, that's us. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna watch the skitter bring me a drag in here. You're gonna ride with me for just a second. Leave them this drag wood here. Maybe another, can to talk with y'all. I haven't really, I guess you'd say, spoke while loading, kind of stepped you through what we're doing here. I've done it on the ground a bunch of times. Oh, look, see that one's broke. Skitter driver on him, more than likely. <laughs> Always pass the blame down to the next man. Always. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to try and get in, them, in between your wood and get those vines out. You're not going to get all of them, and I'm going to have to grab this one right there. Suck it on out of there, and it ain't going to come. So we're going to hook it with the bucket like... See if I can get it in there. Come on, get in there, girl. There we go. Well, rotate a little bit. Go this way. Come on, man. Get 
all the bushes out the best you can. I try and get the hardwood bushes. There's vines in this mess that just ain't going to come out. The bushes are pretty easy and so is the hardwood trees that may end up in your stuff. But the, the dead gum vines, man, that's, that stuff is a nightmare. There's nothing you can really do with vines even when you're cutting because it's like uh, it's hard to explain unless you've been around it you just there's just nothing you can do for vines you want to try and get it as clean as you can before you go till you pull through well you can get that one in there i didn't necessarily grab all these up the most even either work you can do before you get into the pull through the better off you are sometimes you just got to reach over there grab it and stick it in the thing pull it through you notice I'm not cutting all my tops off because they've been run over pretty good by the skitter already and they're already at like a two and a half three inch top it's close enough to pass mill spec and the least amount of wood that you can cut off and throw away the faster it adds up on a truck. It's like this pile here, you see it's just got a whole bunch of crap in it. You just gotta pick it up, swing it around here. It always seems like you're always gonna have one that wants to kind of hang out to the side like that. You gotta kind of flip it. Daylimmer around. And then sometimes you just get mad at it and you say, you know what? Screw you! Get out of there! Get out! Yeah! Then you want to split it. You can drag your trash off. Take it back over here. Put it in the trash pile. You don't want to get it on your good wood that you got already clean over here. You got a little bit more. We'll spin the bucket around there. Do that. Got one butt kind of slid a little bit back. Ah, my old wore out bucket. She just ain't gonna do it. What? Even her up when we get in the wood pile. This one got a lot of small tops. So we're gonna go ahead and bob the tops off on it. And then we're gonna go to the pile. And right now I'm trying to build up my offside over here. So I'm gonna spin it. Yep, there we go, we got it. Even that button butt up, drop it in the pile. There you go. Oh, yeah. We gotta get this old butthole tree here. Stick it back in the pile. We didn't want to go in its, in its home. Kind of like Happy Gilmore. You too good to go in your home? This is all, this is second thinning, but this is almost eliminator wood. It's so small. You see all the trash in it. It's just, man, it's part of working in my area. I sure wish they burned this mess. If they burn it, it wouldn't be like this. Then they'd cut my rates because my production would go up, and then they'd see I was making too much money. <laughs> uh, it's a never ending vicious cycle. Do some more because it's easier, they cut your money. You produce less because it's harder. For some reason, they don't give you a raise. Come on, get out of there. See, after about the second or third time of them vines not kind of cooperating, they just get closed up. And I'll shove it back as far as I can in the limmer. Re-grab, open your knives, shove it in, close, let it roll that bucket like that, and it kind of walks it around and kind of helps twist those vines off of it. It does get some of them. We got quite a bit of small tops again, so we're going to have to cut it. The saw wants to hang up, so we're going to kind of 
wiggle our pile around a little bit. There it goes, right over it. Like a pot knife through the butter. Put this pile on this side. It's a little bit better wood. For whatever reason, I always try to stack my little bit better wood on my left side. And my little bit worse wood stack on the right. Get down in there and have to pull back and get it 
down in there and then recut it. Set that one right. You gotta watch how sometimes I'll try and cross up on you. You wanna set that one there, turn it loose, and come over here and set the rest up down there where they're gonna be straight. This water trash and that little bit of tree. Throw it off to the side. Make sure there's two little trees in there. See, they're not 16, they're not 3 inches at 16 feet, so they are trash. Throw that over there, that way.